'Twas the night before, a reading by you know who. Twas the night before. Twas the night before inspections when all through the job site, not a creature was stirring, not even a mic. The scrim was hung by the fence with care in hopes the building inspector soon would be there. The forge team was nestled all snug in their trailer while visions of a certificate of occupancy had Keith reaching for his inhaler and Clay in his hard hat and Phil in his vest had just settled down with Mitch, Steve, and Tim for a long winter's rest. When out in the lobby there arose such a clatter, Deb sprang from her desk to see what was the matter. Away to the kitchen, Erlen employees made a dash, tore open the boxes and holiday treats, gone in a flash. Materials delivered, wrapped up in a bow, gave the luster of holidays and sure signs of snow. When what to my wondering eye should emerge, but an Erlen branded sleigh and project superintendent, Corey Fisher. While a little old passenger so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Jackson. More rapid than concrete being poured, management came, Corey whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Steve, now Ben, now Eric and Rick Jensen, on Crafty, on Nancy, on Jay and Kristen. Now Brian and Tom, now Chuck and Nicole Harrison, on Scott, on Dan, on Joe Petrillo, director of pre-construction. To the top of 3rd Ave, to the top of the Burlington Mall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the project progresses at one corporate drive, when met with a challenge, the Erlen team thrives. So up to Andover, Justin and Augie flew to meet with project superintendent, Mike Harrison, and project executive, Charlie Harding, too. And then in a moment, I heard a big woof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the hallway came Pino, Blake, and Abby with a bound. Stephen was dressed in Erling gear, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of scraps he flung on his back as he took to the trailer for a quick snack. They spoke not a word, but went straight back to task, a wonderful crew of subcontractors that do whatever asked. How we got so lucky, we'll never know. And giving a nod, the job site closed. Time for all to hit the road. Steve sprang from his desk chair to his team, gave a whistle. And near and far, they gathered like down of a thistle. Then I heard them exclaim with all of their might, Happy holidays to all. And to all, a good night. night.